and Periscope. Oh, hello, finally we're here. Episode 12. Hello, hello, welcome Periscope, welcome Facebook. I am so late to the pate today. I tell you, I have had all sorts of issues. Uh, yeah, and it's all got to do with connectivity and this is a definitely one of the cons of, uh, of live broadcasting. It can be temperamental uh, and connection and connectivity can certainly, as, uh, yeah, as, as much as I try to smooth things out, you just never know what you're going to get. Uh, so I am kicking things off here today. Welcome to those of you that haven't joined me in prior to uh, doing these broadcasts. Uh, it's a live broadcasting experiment. We're going live on all three channels, Instagram, Periscope and Facebook. I welcome you all. To those of you who join me live, I welcome you all to those who are watching the replay. Thank you for joining me again. This is episode 12 of Desi TV, your discovery channel for your excellence. So being so late to the party today, what I did want to share with you uh, today is around marketing and shaking up the traditional model as we know it for digital uh, in particular or you know digital in particular just for marketing in a broader sense we've always been drilled into us I know I have over the years of going to uh, I did my tourism marketing um, diploma and then went on to do my degree and marketing always centered around the four P's which then extended to the six P's and how much this has definitely changed now with the digital landscape that it's so much more than the four P's. Let's go tap back into the memory bank. Uh, place, promotion, people and 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 price. Ding 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 and price. So what has what does the new model for marketing translate to now in the digital marketing space I guess just how we've evolved in engaging with our audiences so what does it look like today and what can we replace the four P's of marketing so to go through that I wanted to take you through the peso model so peso uh, what's is that the Philippines currency peso 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 uh, so I wanted you to I wanted to break it down of the peso model uh, and how that has morphed from the four P's of marketing and something for you to consider so the P representing paid marketing okay so when we're talking paid we're talking advertising we're talking banner ads we're talking paid uh, google uh, adwords advertising we're also talking now social media advertising which we can do as we know now pretty much on all the digital uh, uh, social media channels be it facebook be it instagram even linkedin and twitter we can take on paid marketing advertising okay so the p being for paid paid space paid advertising the e in peso model being for earned media so the, now we we're, we're really going in from a marketing model to a media model i mean look at what we're doing now me now we as businesses and as brands have uh, empowered so much to become our own media channels and with the peso peso model it's really extending from a four p's of marketing to a media model so we've got paid media which we went on google adwords uh, banner display banner advertising to paid social media advertising where it, whether it's boosting posts whether it's paid for traffic to your website or the like okay then we look at earned media so earned media what do we mean by that different things that we can mean uh, what we mean with earned media we look at things like your media relations your blogger relations your 
influencer relations. Okay, so when we say earned media, we think about brand ambassadors. Okay, so whether it's a blogger that's come and enjoyed your experience and then and gone on to write about it, to create a video around it, to live broadcast, so you've uh, you're doing something so super awesome and cool that they've gone and and extended your message to their audience. So you've earned their respect and their trust, and and they've gone on to to write about you and broadcast about you. So whether it's a blogger, whether it's an influencer, it's earned media. The S in the peso media model, okay? We're looking at shared media. Now, shared media, it's really the, the oldest form of marketing or media relations. It's the referrals. It's the word of mouth. It's the social media marketing, okay? It's it's free for us, but any time someone hits that little share button or any time uh, they're sharing that to a new audience, again, you've earned that right of share, you know, someone sharing your message. It doesn't cost you anything but your efforts to be showing up and doing something that's of value to your audience that you've earned, earned their respect enough that they say this is so good I want to share it to my people whether it's to their business pages or their personal network it's shared media and it's pretty much what we can do now with our social channels and all the resources that we have available to us is extend the word of mouth beyond anything that we can do essentially um, in a face-to-face -face interaction, which is still really important. But when we're talking about the digital landscape, shared media has so much more reach, okay? And the fourth element of this new marketing and media model is owned media. In my mind, the most important for any business and any brand. Owned media is exactly that. It's what you own. Now, I'm doing these live broadcasts, but I am at the mercy of Instagram platform, of Twitter and Periscope platform, and also to the Facebook algorithms, okay? I am. I, I don't have an element of control of who's seeing what when. My owned media and your owned media centers around your website, your blog, your original content that you own, that you've taken the time to create and share somewhere that is sitting there in the space that you own. It's not rented space in the likes of what I'm doing here. So at the moment, this is all rented space. What I want to do with all of this is repurpose the content and place it somewhere where I do own it and I do have an element of control. And this is where we will place the focus on on these this Desi TV live broadcast. I will center the content around your owned media and what you can do in terms of content. And that's where I would like add to add value to you and your brand and the business that you are growing and taking to the next level, or you could be starting or planting the seeds of doing something. Okay, so you are the media and you don't need a whole lot to just get something started in today's wonderful digital landscape. Okay, so to summarize, so moving on from the four P's of marketing, we move to new models of media marketing, okay? And the new model that we looked at today is the PESO model. So PESO being um, media elements that you can apply or always consider when you're strategically setting up your marketing plans and your business plans in the form of paid media, earned media, shared media being those word of mouth referrals, social media, broadcasts and posts and content. Um, and number four being owned media, your website, your blog, your own content that you have originally created for your business and your 
industry okay that's going to remember that's going to add value and inspire and connect and empower your audience um, to and to a certain degree entertain as well so the own oh, your own media in any training that anyone's ever been to with me I call it the mothership that is the nuclear center of your digital footprint which is your website so we always want to respect anything that we're doing is driving traffic into that nuclear center it's driving traffic in okay and we want to an element everything that centers around that Facebook Instagram Twitter Pinterest whatever it is LinkedIn all of these social media elements you just think of the universe and outer space they all center around your mothership okay we want to get them off here and into there and from our nuclear center we want to we know that we can build that rela those relationships and those smart collaborations outside of this where we can show our authentic selves and gain new audiences and and build our communities we build them out here okay but this is where we want it. we want our audiences to ultimately end up um, and potentially take that relationship to the next level and buy from us because ultimately that is what we're in business for okay so there's a summary of that what did you think thank you everybody for joining me again uh, what did you think were there any aha moments was that insightful for you uh, give me a little heart tap love or send me a comment in in your comment sen section let me know how you found today's episode of Desi TV the discovery channel for your excellence okay so tomorrow we'll, we'll take this to another level and I'll share another more specific thank you EB copywriting thank you for that uh, what we will we will take that to another level and I'll share an even more practical roadmap for you where you can take that frag fragmented technology and your digital marketing initiatives into an even more productive process where you can kind of lead to a more unambiguous um, and outcomes and that's what we want okay so we I'd like to share I like to le read a lot and I like to actually I these uh, these these um, this content together so I will do that for you okay thank you again uh, I will end it with a quote let's get some music back on so life is like riding a bicycle to keep your balance you must keep on moving so take action and keep going take that first step and do something epic okay thank you so much everyone have a wonderful day thank you eb copywriting i hear you sister i appreciate that um eb copywriting check them out on instagram i appreciate you okay bye eb thank you for joining me see you Thank you guys. Thank you Periscope. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Here's to your excellence ignition and to my wonderful Facebookers. Always saving Facebook for last. Uh, thank you for joining me and thank you to those who are watching the replays. I appreciate you and I am very grateful uh, for showing up and I hope you find it all valuable. Sorry I was late today. Can't help it but like I like to remind myself. 80% of something better than 100% of nothing to keep it calm when it all doesn't quite work out to plan. All right, have a wonderful day. Thank you again. Ciao for now.